All right, everybody. We just uh, woke up. We're packing up camp, and we're gonna head to the river. And this is the like <clears throat> full expedition day uh, for shoal bass. So let me get done getting packed up. Colin already got his tent up and everything. I gotta get my hammock up, and I'll see you on the water. Just look at all these rocks and shoals. These fish in these environments love crayfish, so that's what I'm gonna start throwing. Fish. Uh, first fish of the day. Oh, there's a pack of them too. Come here. Oh, shoot. Woo! About the same size we were catching yesterday. I don't have my phone or anything on me. Nice little shoal bass. Of course, the everyday angler uh, forgot his bump board in the truck, so I guess I'll just have to come down here again. Good little first fish of the day though. I'm gonna make one more cast and Colin's fishing and we're taking turns kind of moving the canoe down, so. There's about 50 people fishing a tournament right now. It's for a good cause to clean up the spotted bass. We were actually here to fish it, but then, uh, we decided, you know, we really don't get to chase shoal bass that often. Let's just do that. So I'm gonna get moving on this canoe and get ahead of them. Or at least try to get ahead of them. That's a good size. Definitely the biggest one we've caught so far. Real nice shoal bass. That one's a lot darker than the ones I've caught. Yeah, I caught one kind of like the babies I was catching yesterday over there. Yeah. This is, a, I was looking at this from over there, yeah. yeah. It's almost like you got a nymph it a little bit, you know? Yeah. yeah. I wanted to talk about a little bit about the uh, rig that we're using today. This is a Collins canoe. What's special about it, Colin? It's made out of Royal X. It's made out of, it's like a 1993? 94, yeah. 94, Old Town. So it's like, y'all remember I had a canoe at one point and it was like extremely heavy. This thing is just crazy light. I was wondering why we didn't want to bring the raft, but this water is so skinny. It really is just the perfect vessel for this river right now at least for two people and it carries enough like we got drinks both of our uh, fish pond boat bags i got a water bottle it's enough i like this old school logo on it 
Anyways. Alright, so. Got a pretty deep hole here. I'm gonna let the. Oh, I just spooked a decent one. I let the spawn crawl work its magic. Oh yeah, it's a little one. I mean, biggest one I've caught. Ooh, these things are healthy, bro. God, they're feisty. Come on. I got a little bit of teeth on them too. I already told Colin the next decent one we catch, we're going to keep him in the water and uh, try to take a good video of him for y'all. Got one. I seen him come up and eat it. <laughs> oh man, they jump. Come here. Heck yeah. This would have been my bass lamb fish right here. But everyday angler always. All right, GoPro just died, but one minute release. Woo! Gotta go change my batteries. It's hard to tell how deep somewhere is, but right now, that's a fish. As soon as it dropped the water. Come here. That's how you break a fly rod. Oh, this is the biggest one of the day. Come on, I'm just trying to let you go. I don't know if it's if I'm being a fail today, or these guys' mouths are just tougher than other bass. Same size we've been catching. Maybe I need to up the size of the spawn crawl. I got some custom-made spawn crawls from Adam. They're much bigger than what he regularly sells. But they're also kind of scary to cast. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about right here. All right, everybody. We just got done fishing this show right here. I think Colin pulled one out of there, but I didn't. Uh, we've still got a ways to go, so I think we're just taking a little break right now. 
Colin's cutting some limes up. Y'all can guess what comes next, right? So yeah, we're just taking a little break and then we're gonna book it in the canoe until the next shoal because there is a shoal that Colin says we're gonna want to pick apart again. So that's what we're gonna do. Let me get the sun in my face better, huh? There you go. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. But for now, we're taking a little break. You can see I've been swimming. Uh, the canoe really is like the the best. I mean, unless you're by yourself, you take a kayak, right? But with two people, bro, I think the biggest thing for me is how light it is. Anyways, we're taking a little break and we'll get back on the water soon. This is where we caught them, most of them. You can see how deep we are calling this. Oh, I'm slipping. I'm like eye level with the canoe right now. Back to a little white bait fish. Good job. That was a heck of a trek we had to make. Got one. Got one. Yeah, I didn't bring my bump board though. I didn't bring my bump board. Oh, really? Yeah. No. Damn, honestly. Let me get it back. No, dude. It doesn't start until it gets right there, though, man. That's one. That's, that's ten inches. All right, try it. Okay, I'm going to let go. Just take a bunch of pictures. Okay. All right, everybody. We uh, caught up to the kayakers that we had first seen on the river when we first put in. And they're spin fishing. You know, they can cover a lot more water than us. They're moving a lot faster. So we're actually just going to take a little lunch break here. They're also not fishing the same water we're fishing. So uh, we're going to take a little lunch here, let them get farther up so we don't run into any more people and get back on the water. All right, Colin, what are we having for our lunch? Ham and cheese sliders. Soggy. Everything got wet. That's fine, though. This is, these aren't just regular sliders, they're with the Hawaiian bread. Look at the size of that freaking cricket. Look at the size of that freaking cricket, dude. Look at that thing. It's like a massive grasshopper. You have your phone? No. Oh. 
Better get out of here. Okay, this one is not as big as the other one. What is that thing? The biggest grasshopper I've ever seen. They're black with yellow stripes. It's got red wings, crazy. Huh? How long does it take me to do a video? It just depends. I, I usually get off work, do whatever house chores I got and like immediately start editing. It just depends. Like this video, I know I'm gonna be like super into it. Yeah. Some videos, honestly, like even though I had a great day of fishing, I just like, oh, I don't wanna, you know what I'm saying? But usually like one or two nights, like maybe, I guess, uh, like six hours, I guess. There's a fish. Ooh. It's probably the smallest one of the day right here. Oh, shoot. Back in the water. All right, everybody. We we're like right at the takeout. But we just stopped, or we were just rowing and saw like a little gar flat. But I saw one come up in the deeper water too. Like right there. So Colin gave me his little gar fly with a treble hook in the back of it. See if we can't catch a gar. Yeah, he's right there. I gotta cast like way upstream and let it sink. Yeah. May have gone too far up. He's looking at it. That's the thing. You gotta get it like right in front of their freaking face. We just got back. The canoe is on my truck. We got to run the shuttle. Uh, what can I say? Caught a bunch of show bass. I think I was able to register one to my bass lamb. And you know, being that I'm pretty far away from a place where I can catch them, that's a win in my book. Nothing big, but just getting to see this river that I've been wanting to fish for a long time. It was awesome. Thank you to Colin from Tall Tales Fly Fishing. Uh, we've met at the fly shop and became pretty good friends. So. 
He's fished it a couple times and pretty much took me out here to come with him. We camped last night. It was really fun. So thank you for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you guys next time on another episode of The Everyday Angler. Thank <laughs> you.